Welcome back. I am here at the bar, and this is hugely exciting for me, with the incredible Lil Sims yeah. is here. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Sim, it's, I'm, I've told you this in yeah. person. I, I, I would tell everybody this. I am such a fan of you, and I'm such a fan of this album that you've created. It's Thank absolutely you. brilliant. Thank you. Um, it's a masterpiece, as far as I'm concerned. Thank you. Now, you recorded the album, uh, you and Inflo and mm -hmm. some other people, and you recorded the album, I didn't know this, at, like, the world-famous Abbey Road yeah. Studios, which, for yeah. any artist, I think, is quite an intimidating environment to go in. Did you find that to be the case? Yeah, for sure. Walking into that space is, like, there's so much history behind it, obviously, with the Beatles and whatnot, and I found myself, like, sometimes sitting in a control room and just watching this 40-piece orchestra play my music, and I'd kind of sneak out and go to my car and write, because that's like growing up and when I first started, I'd write in my car, in my bedroom, and I prefer to be in those spaces just so I can focus on that and then I'd go back in and, and record. Wow. Yeah. And that's literally the title of the album. <laughs> yeah, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes I might, yeah, I might yeah, be yeah, introvert. Yeah. Yeah. Now, <laughs> anyone who knows the, the album, as so many people do, it's, there's, there's interludes throughout the tracks and there's yeah. a, a really amazing sort of, I want to call it, it's, it's not the right terminology, but like a guest... Yeah feature yeah, yeah. from Emma Corrin, who people know is the actress who played Princess Diana mm -hmm. in the last series of The Crown. Mm -hmm. How did that collaboration come together? So, during the time I was recording the album, I'd have these phases where I'd just be watching, I'd watch TV series, and The Crown was one of the series I was watching at the time. Sometimes I'd go to the studio, I wouldn't even record, I'd just go and watch The Crown. Um, <laughs> and I had an idea that it would be cool if you know, she could narrate this. And so I reached out and I thought, I don't know if she even knows who I am. I don't know sure. if this is going to work for her. And she was super down. So, yeah, it's wicked. So how do you reach out to her? What, on well, what? I said, I told my manager to see if we can get in contact. Right. And then I got a number and I just called her and spoke to her. That's, so, it's yeah. such a beautiful and brilliant idea. Now, mm -hmm. you're about to head off on your biggest headline tour yeah. you've ever done, including three... <laughs> Sold out nights at the Brixton Academy in mm. London, which is an iconic venue. Yeah. It's a lot of seats. Yeah. It's a lot of seats. It's a lot. Mm -hmm. What's it like for you when you go back and play in London? Is, that, is, it, is it added pressure? Is it, are you, do you feel more relaxed because your family and friends are there and things like yeah. that? What, what's the dynamic when you play it's those shows? It's definitely super special, obviously, because I'm born and bred in London, so I'm going to play to, like, as, as well as the fans, I'm playing to my family, my friends, people I went to school with, like my neighbours coming out to see me, do you know what I mean? So it's, it's, it's definitely nerve-wracking, but the most love in the room. Everyone's just... I could just feel it, you know, it's wicked. Well, I'm going to be there on the 17th, wicked. and I absolutely <laughs> cannot wait. Ladies and gentlemen, yes. Lil Sims, stick around. You're going to watch Lil Sims perform right after this. You don't want to miss it. Come on back, everybody.